Hello again, it's Lock Noob. Now, hopefully, you've been along this journey with me where I've picked my way through um, a number of these um, padlocks using this Mad Bob lever padlock pick set. Um, I've been trying to show you over the last, um, I believe, six videos um, what you can pick with uh, this set and introduce you to my kind of lever padlock collection, uh, which I've been amassing over the last few months uh, after I, I, I got this kit. Now, um, you can buy this Mad Bob um, pick set for £35. It's on, I think you can pre order it on uh, the Mad Bob website. And um, it's a really, really competitively priced piece of kit. Um, and really quite novel. Uh, there isn't quite one like this out there. There are some lever padlock kind of uh, universal picking kits out there, but nothing quite like this. Um, so, what do you get? For your £35, um, well, you can pay a bit more and get a case. I've said this before, I actually use this, um, it's also a Mad Bob case, but this is for their um, excellent six piece pry bar set. But I can fit this in really nicely, so um, waste not whatnot, I use that. Um, but you, yeah, you, you can get one of their lovely kits for a little bit, um, cases for um, a little extra money. Um, I didn't because um, I, you know, £35 is you know, a reasonable amount of money, and I didn't want to spend any more money on um, cases when I just wanted the picks. Um, so, you get a tension um, collar or uh, or a collet with these tensioner bars and you can see that these screw in either side and they apply um, some grip on three picking tips. You get three picking tips, um, two with these um, odd little uh, tubular upstands. These are for your different size um, Squire or Old English style um, uh, padlocks. I think they'll probably pick the Casp and the possibly the Yale as well. I think with these, um, I haven't actually picked the Yale, so I, I don't know. But certainly the Old English style padlocks um, tend to, um, uh, you, you know, be picked with these two. Um, again, if you've seen my last few videos, you'll see that I've definitely picked all of these using these two tools. Um, you also get a bigger tension tip which is a lot thicker it's welded on um, so welded stainless steel and it's tubular that's because a lot of these other locks have um, an upstand within the lock to guide the key and they're all tubular so um, yeah even the um, uh, the chub cruiser is the same as well and uh, worth mentioning even though um, the chub cruiser key is an offset shape um, this does actually fit into that keyway like that and it does apply tension to the bolt so you're golden if you've got the skills to pick it which I don't um, at the moment I'm working on it um, so this is for the, the these sort of bigger high security padlocks um, and again this they all screw in to this collar like that um, you'll see that it's actually they're all squared off um, at one end that means that when you put this in Make sure I've actually undone this enough. There you go. When you put this in and apply some grip, it's not just going to rotate round because that would just be uh, silly. So it does grip quite well. You also notice that all the pick tips um, are flat on one edge. That's because you need to be able to get a lever wire down this side as well. So while that's in the lock, you're getting a lever wire, you put it in here, and you can see there that then that would be able to lever up and down. Sorry, it's a bit dirty from picking a, 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 an old grubby padlock, it's not, it doesn't come dirty. Um, and I haven't modified these wires at all. Um, and I haven't modified these two pick tips at all. However, I have had to take about uh, 0.5 to 1 millimeters off the end of this and round the edges off. Um, just because it wouldn't tension all of these locks. It does now. Um, but I did need to file it down a bit. Um, so yeah, you can read into that what you like, but I, I'm i gonna call it, I, I'd say that um, you're not going to get tension on as many locks as you think unless you're willing to take a file to, to the tool um, as you buy it. Um, like I said, they don't specify on the Mad Bob site what padlocks they mean you can pick, but these are all pretty much common ones. The only ones I didn't have to try was the Squire Defiant and the, um, what's the other one I didn't have? Uh, Squire Defiant and the um, Era Big Six, 
by the way, if you do have the Squire to find, so uh, uh, near a big six, you don't mind lending them or uh, uh, or trading them with me. Um, get in contact. So I, 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 you know, I really like to have a go at those ones. Okay. So um, so yeah, it's it's strange. I haven't had to modify any part of this kit. Not the lever wires, which you get, like I said, um, the small and big one. There you go. Um, the small one for the I think the Squire two twenty and four forty, and the the longer one for the larger. Op 660 770 casp style old English padlocks and all the other ones so this doesn't get much use unless you're doing the really small padlocks um, this lever wire here the longer one gets you into um, all of these locks um, so overall um, I'm I, yeah I'm incredibly pleased with the with this mad bob kit I, I think for the price I just can't think of anything that I think is better it, it gets you into so many locks um, I've not like I said not tried the Squire Defiant or the um, Era Big Six, but I, I've got no doubt that, that this will probably have a good go at them. Um, so I think that even though it doesn't look like a lot of money, uh, for, uh, so I lost a kit for thirty-five pounds. I think actually you are getting something which um, I can't think of a better replacement out there. Just can't. So I actually rate this really highly. I would say that um, uh, yeah, you do have to. Um, modify the the bigger pick uh, tension tip um and i'm not too pleased with that because i think it probably invalidates my warranty for this this thing uh, you might have to check their website to uh, to see whether it does or doesn't invalidate your warranty by modifying it but seriously if i didn't modify it i wouldn't be able to tension some of the locks um and yeah it's just to show um, that they're all squared off on one side so that you can um get grip on the collar tool for it so there you go the the Mad Bob's um, lever pick set, uh, lever padlock pick set, should I say? You get three tips. It gets into a whole load of lever padlocks. Um, pretty much all the ones I've tried, apart from some. So, um, I think there's a, a a weird two lever one, which the um, upstand and centre lock was just way too wide for this. But you know, most of the common padlocks that you can get lever padlocks. This this pick set will get you in to those locks. And if you haven't seen the videos yet of me picking some of these locks, um, go check my last. A uh, few videos out, you'll see me pick through all of them. So, um, yeah, uh, I think I've already concluded it, but I'll conclude it again just to make sure I get the point across. This is £35. Yes, you do have to uh, pre order it. It definitely is worth the money. Um, I can't think of anything better for the, for the price. Uh, it gets you into a lot of locks. Word of warning though, you do have to, I think, modify, or at least I had to modify my. Um, upstand on this um, larger uh, tension tip so I could um, tension um, more locks um, but we got there um, it, it didn't take long to file down it may may I don't know for sure have invalidated my warranty but nevertheless I think that this is going to last quite a long time anyway as long as I'm careful with it um, yeah so I definitely if you're interested in picking lever padlocks I, I would recommend this a lot I think this kit so um, yeah, go check out the Mad Bob website and uh, yeah, get yourself on pre-order. Okay, see you next time.